Welcome to module one and um, this module runs from September 3rd to September the 8th. The 8th is that Sunday when course content is or course assignments for the for the content cover are due. However, um, I guess the technical week for this week is kind of strange. The week ends on that Saturday. New content will should be available by Sunday um, or a little bit earlier depending on the week and then um, your assignments are due on Sunday. So this is a little bit of a new format because I want to make sure that um, the recordings, if there's anything like far as the video issues that people may have been challenged with are um, not an issue for this particular course. Um, okay, so let's jump in and get started. With the first, mod with the first unit module, uh, understanding the students with special needs, I wanted to make sure that I provided you with a handbook. So with this module, we will be tapping into this source here, which is a um, guide for teachers. So it says understanding and responding to children's needs in inclusive classrooms. And this can be applied to any um, level in education. This handbook is split into four different areas. So every child is an individual is unit one, two assessing needs, uh, three responding to diversity, and then four working together. Uh, we will only discuss unit one, not unit three, but unit three will come back around. Um, and then the other uh, three, I'm, I'm gonna add it into the rest of the modules, um, just in a different way. So unit objectives include, after completing this unit, educators will know how to integrate strategies for overcoming common learning disabilities that result from various impairments with differentiated instruction, strategies for teaching that respond to the, to the diversity of children in their classrooms, and then methods of modifying lesson and curriculum plans to accommodate 504 IEP mm -hmm. plans. So some of this will be um, covered extensively in this um, module, in this unit, while other uh, parts such as the strategies and the methods will be more clearly identified as we continue through the modules. There'll be a brief introduction for these two areas. Um, what you need to remember as learning outcomes, uh, you should be able to start having discussions about creating classroom environments that support student learning goals of students with special needs, and then also um, start discussing how to design learning experiences for students with special needs that empower skill, academic, and social development. If you are currently a um, teacher who is a special education teacher, this will be kind of review for you and a little bit of a no-brainer, but you may find some of the resources uh, to be useful, um, especially if, you know, you may um, be struggling or you may have different types of disabilities that you're challenged with this year, uh, but this should be somewhat useful, uh, this unit in particular because it's kind of like an overview. There are two things that are due this week, class discussion number one, uh, and then we will have the uh, reading number one, which in only includes 19 through 37. I didn't want to overwhelm you with too much reading, and obviously the task is not due on July 27th. It will be due on um, September the 8th. Um, if you have any questions for me, please let me know. I'm just gonna change that really quick. However, this should be a really smooth sailing course. Uh, you should not have to worry too much about keeping up with the content as it's similar to the last course where there'll be some type of assessment from the reading. Um, this reading assessment in particular will also um, encourage you to, re to reflect on the video. That's at the end of the lecture number one. So please make sure you actually watch the video. Um, however, all in all, this uh, format should be kind of familiar with you. All right, well, I uh, hope you have a positive week and uh, I look forward to reviewing your uh, work and having the discussion about disability awareness with you. Have a great day.